Hi, and welcome to another day of daily devotions during this Advent season from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lakeshore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. Today is the last day for week two of our daily devotions, and we're going to continue to be in the second chapter of Matthew, this time verses 13 and 15. Now, this is a story of Christmas that we usually neglect. We usually don't tell this part because it doesn't fit in nicely to our nativity scenes and our carols. So hear these words. Now, after all had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And then Joseph got up and took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. Now this was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I have called my son. So we usually don't think of the flight to Egypt as part of the Christmas story, but it's a crucial part because once again, it tells us about who this Jesus is. From the very beginning of his life, Jesus cannot live in his earthly home. He is rejected by the world. He is threatened by the empire, and he must flee. And it's not just across town. It's not just to a different apartment or a different city. No, it's to a whole nother country. A country that Israel at one time had been enslaved to. Joseph and Mary and the newborn child must flee because it's not safe for them in their own land. We call those people refugees. We call them refugees when their own country is threatening them. And we give them protection, and so it was with Egypt. Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus were refugees, and they found in Egypt a place where they could live safely, where the long arm of the king's authority could not reach. And so they were, there they were, perhaps having to learn a new language to live in the midst of a new culture, frightened and afraid, because their life, was in danger. That's crucial to the Christmas story because we come to know that this earth is no place for Jesus or those people who follow Jesus. There is no comfort. There is no home for us here. We may live in its midst, but we must always be on guard because the world belongs to the powers and the empires of the world. It is not God's beloved community. We can see glimpses of it. We can help create parts of it. But in the end, the world will always try to get us. And even after Herod died, it didn't end, did it? Because another Herod arose. The Roman Empire didn't like Jesus. Eventually, by the authority and the legal authority of the government, he was executed and put in a tomb. The world always rejects Jesus. And though it's hard to swallow in this season when we're supposed to sing goodwill to all and peace on earth, when we think of joining hands around the Christmas tree in some Charlie Brown special and singing joy to the world, the reality is, is that the world will reject you and me and all the followers of Jesus simply because we believe in a new reality, a reality of God's making, one where everybody matters, where there is justice for all, not just for some, where there are no boundaries. There is only embracing, welcoming love. So friends, today, Remember that no matter how comfortable you may seem, when you choose to follow Jesus, there will be those who will seek to put an end to you. 
You and I are refugees in this world. We belong to God. We belong to God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, once again, we say thank you for giving us another incredible day to remember, to think, to reflect on the power of your work in the world. Give us strength on every level. Allow us to live in the midst of a world that does not want us. Let us draw strength from one another. Let us not cower, but let us proclaim you fiercely to the world. And when they reject us, let us remember that they rejected you, that we belong to your beloved community, not the kingdoms of the world. Amen. Friends, I hope that you had an incredible second week of Advent, and I hope that you can join us this Sunday for our Advent worship. You're special. You belong. We need each other. Have an awesome day.